what's up everyone and welcome to your 36th javascript tutorial and i know in the last tutorial i sounded like an idiot when i said welcome to your 34th javascript tutorial but it was actually the 35th javascript tutorial but hey it happens so coming back to this tutorial we have something to discuss and it is called eval function in javascript now eval is basically a function which evaluates a block of string as a javascript command itself and before even starting this tutorial i should say that never use this function and why i'll tell you in this tutorial later on but first of all let's see what eval is and how it works so i have this function down here and i say alert one two three four five and i'm doing eval notice and uh, let's uh, here's the chrome and we get alert as one two three four five so how is eval parsing a string as a javascript and basically this is the function of eval and eval what it does is eval takes an argument of a javascript code a javascript code and runs it in the same scope that means function x if i try to do var y is equal to 10 and alert y and i again alert y in the in another scope then we have the scope of this variable down here in this function but we don't have the scope of this variable y in the global scope in the global so basically eval executes the code in the local scope instead of go global scope so let's refresh this and y is equal to 10 and oh sorry i didn't call the x function and refresh we get 10 and nothing because y is not defined in the global scope alert is not defined oh sorry let's see 10 and y is not defined as i said you so this is how eval works basically it is used to execute javascript uh, a string in as a javascript so Previously, when people didn't know how to manipulate DOM easily or how to work with DOM, they used eval to set uh, something like dynamic uh, values to uh, the names of input fields, the values of input fields, and uh, the JSON objects. But now we have some more powerful function like JSON.parse and some other functions which are more safe and which do not pose any security threat so for example the reason i was telling you uh, to avoid using eval function is that because eval poses many security threats and is often considered as an evil function for example let's say let's say if you are taking a parameter from uh, let's say the username as a dynamic parameter from any user on your site and suppose you are uh, executing that eval code as the parameter down here or basically let's say you are taking styles as a parameter or maybe scripts I know I'm confused but anyways scripts as a parameter and we are taking just alert alert hello user uh, we are taking script as a parameter and we are just directly evaluating this inside the parameter URL script sorry and uh, this is not the correct syntax but I'm just writing uh, supposingly we are evaluating this and the attacker changes this payload to something like this window dot location attacker dot com so what happens now is instead of getting a nice and sweet hello world alert hello user alert basically the attacker is able to redirect the user the victim to his own site and do whatever he wants to do so this was a very dumb and stupid explanation of how eval can be exploited but there are many more uh, precise and basically 
heart stopping uh, examples of using the demerits of using eval on your website you are free to google them and check them out and this was all about eval and i'll see you then in the next tutorial so don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching this video